everyone and welcome to Storytime with Central Library Hub. Today's story is all about an elephant. <gasps> Do you know what noise an elephant makes? Woo! Woo! It's called Elephant Me. It's written by Giles Andre. It's illustrated by Guy Parker Reese and I'm reading it with the kind permission of Orchard Publishers. So, are you ready to find out what happens? Here we go. Elephant Me. Elephant Mighty reclined on his throne at the start of the Elephant Games. Impress me, he said to the little ones there, and I'll give you your elephant names. Tradition dictated in Elephant Law that all of the young ones compete to try to be better than everyone else at a certain spectacular feat. And each time an elephant managed to prove a talent or skill to the king, the monarch would give him his elephant name, an honour they all longed to win. Nina was the first to try out for a name, the largest young elephant there. She pulled a whole tree from the ground by its roots and lifted it high in the air. Amazing, cried Elephant Mighty. Hurrah! Your trunk is so splendid and long. I never imagined that tree would come loose. I'm calling you Elephant Strong. Young Norcus was next, so he took a deep breath and summoning all of his might, he let out a... Ooh! so loud and so shrill that even the vultures took flight. Remarkable, Elephant Mighty declared. That sound, it could set off a riot. I'm calling you Elephant Noisy, my boy. Now, shh, settle down and be quiet. One by one, all the young elephants came and showed off the things they could do. And each one was awarded its elephant name, except one at the back of the queue. I see one more elephant hiding away. Come show yourself now, said the king. Yes, tell me what marvellous trick you can do. Please demonstrate. What is your thing? <clears throat> I I'm not really sure yet, your highness, he said. Uh, it it's just I don't really know. Oh, nonsense, said Elephant Mighty. What tosh? Get on with it. Give us a show. So Num Num stepped forward and did a few tricks. He was trying as hard as he could, but Elephant Mighty was most unimpressed, asking, can't you do anything good? Oh, dear, scowled the king. No, that really won't do. Poor Num Num felt hopelessly small. I should call you Elephant Nothing, he laughed. Ha <laughs> ha, yes, Elephant Nothing at all. So Num Num decided to move far away to a place where no elephants go. He trudged through the dust in the heat of the plains, his head and his tail hanging low. But soon, because Num Num was gentle and kind and was blessed with a generous soul, Lions and zebras, giraffes and gazelle came and show, shared his new watering hole. Then, one day a warthog asked, why are you here? So Num Num explained what occurred. <clears throat> well, that's nonsense, a crocodile swiftly replied, and his friends all agreed, that's absurd. You're good at all sorts of things, really, you are. You're friendly, you're kind and you're true. Out of all of the animals here on these plains, there's only one, only one you. Come follow me, Num Num, the crocodile said. Let's take you back where you belong and tell Mr. Elephant Thingy Majig that he's not only foolish, but wrong. The animals led Num Num back to his home where Elephant Mighty held sway. Um, excuse me, Your Highness, said Num Num. It's me. And um, this time I've got something to say. He cleared his throat nervously, <coughs> took a deep breath, <gasps> then looked up as brave as can be. I'll tell you my elephant name, Num Num said. I want to be Elephant Me. 
You want to be elephant me, sneered the king with a haughty and arrogant snort. There's nothing about it that says what you do. That's a really ridiculous thought. Um, it's not, Num Num said, because that's who I am. I may not be noisy or tough, but the hardest thing sometimes is just to be you and to know being you is enough. To all of the creatures' astonished surprise, the king didn't bellow or shout. No, Elephant Mighty had started to weep and a long, lonely wail came out. <laughs> You're right, cried the monarch. It's hard to be you. And guess what? It's hard to be me. I'm tired being elephant mighty all day. I want to be elephant free. I'm longing to do all those things that I can't, that a king's not expected to do. Like dancing all night beneath only the stars with my feet getting wet in the dew. Who cares about all these ridiculous names? No, what's more important by far is just to be true to ourselves every day and content with whoever we are. Elephant me! What a wonderful thing! Now, whenever we see there's a chance, let's celebrate meanness with all of our hearts. And right now, I see stars, so let's dance! And they all have a big party in the jungle. See? It's always good to be yourself. Have a lovely day, everyone. See you very soon.